Hi, I'm Doug Kriebel, and this is the first in a series of videos of how to have a successful pumping system. Step one, determine the hydraulics. The hydraulics are the flow rate and the system head. These can be calculated from design conditions on a new system or from field measurements in an existing system. The flow rate is in gallons per minute of the liquid you're pumping. The pressure heads are determined from three components. The pressure head, which is the difference in pressure between the two vessels, as seen on this sketch. The suction vessel pressure is subtracted from the discharge pressure to become the differential pressure. You multiply that by 2.31, divide by the specific gravity, and that's your pressure head in feet of liquid. The elevation head is determined by measuring the discharge elevation and subtracting the suction elevation from it. That's the elevation head. To that, you have to add the friction head. And this is the loss in pressure due to liquid flowing through the pump system. Loss is due to friction against the pipe, fittings, and other process equipment such as heat exchangers and valves. From this data, you plot a system head curve. The system head curve is a chart that shows the head in feet on the left hand side vertical axis and the flow rate in gallon per minute on the horizontal axis. The static head is the pressure head and the elevation head and that's constant throughout the pumping system at zero flow and full flow. That's why we call it static head. To that we have to add the resistance to flow or the friction head. Those components added together is the total dynamic head that the pump system is designed for. Let's look at an actual application. The suction tank on the right hand side is open to atmosphere so it's zero PSIG. The discharge tank is at five PSIG. The difference is five PSIG multiplied by 2.31 and in this case we'll assume water with a 1.0 gravity. So the pressure head is 11 and a half feet. The elevation component is 60 feet minus 10 foot of suction elevation, or 50 feet. Those two added together is 61 and a half feet. That's the static head. We calculated at 1200 gallon a minute a 27 foot friction loss. So the total head is 88 and a half feet. This can be seen on the system head curve. We take the, the pressure head, the elevation head, and that adds up to 61 and a half feet. We then factor in the resistance, the friction loss, which varies from zero at zero flow to 27 feet at full flow. Therefore, the total head is 88 and a half feet. Point A, the point you pick your pump. We know, we know this information will be useful to you in determining your hydraulic conditions, and we look forward to working with you in selecting pumps.